All right, we've uh, already jumped into the 80s, low to mid 80s today, mostly sunny tomorrow and more clouds, and more humidity this weekend. So it gets a little stickier out there. And we do have a small chance of rain early next week. All right. Those two really know how to tease us. What was it, Tuesday? We had to wait for the metal to be revealed because Mike just kept showing us the backside of the metal. Now today we got to wait for the art to be revealed. Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one you can't eat. I don't think it's I don't think it's edible art. Yeah, but she had the banana waffles. Yeah. Yes, they live starts right now. I took my time on this over a period of maybe three days just for the design. How many did we count here? About 156 pieces all together. Wow. See the amazing creation from one local artist and how he can create nearly anything you can imagine. Satisfy your fiesta hunger from banana split waffles to chilaquiles. This local restaurant is offering a brunch menu to get the party started. And Viva Fiesta, it's a parade that screams San Antonio. Find out about this year's River Parade from the Grand Marshal himself. It's all today on SA Live. Celebrating 10 years, live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. And by the way, David, it's called a tease for a reason. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, if you see a flurry of pet pictures today, it's because it's National <laughs> Pet Day. And my big 88-pound shepherd husky mix is such a good sport because I dress him up for all sorts of things. And, and so is the uh, the lovely lady next to Oh, yeah. Well, pounder. she's got to earn her kibbles and bits, too. <laughs> uh, good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorostiza. And I'm like Mr. Hayes. And we want to see your pet pics, especially if you have a little bit of an unusual pet. Do you have maybe a pet opossum? Do you have a pet whatever that is? That is <laughs> that's you. That's Bosco. Yes, that is our, well, he's not what he was sold as breed wise, but anyway, <laughs> yes, he is. He's just adorable, lovable little creature that he is. So uh, look at that. Pet oh picks. my oh. gosh, look at Jen's pictures with her pets and her kids. That's beautiful in the blue bonnets. Of course, Jen's picture is I just know. absolutely spectacular. So, yeah, share your pet pics. And that it's just like a, a magazine. A dog, it can be anything. Mm -hmm. Again, maybe if you have pet snakes, please, you don't have to share those pictures. No, he doesn't want to see those. Just no. send them anyway. <laughs> It'll be you funny. Code <laughs> and uh, send in those pictures. We'll see them a little bit later on. All right. Well, on Tuesday, we revealed our 2024 Fiesta medal, and we had it transformed into an edible work of art. Okay. Now, today, another one of our incredible local businesses is helping us with another stunning transformation. There is the, the incredible uh, edible work of art, but Dusty Saw Design, a family-owned shop that can turn nearly anything into wooden work of art. So we gave him the challenge, transform our intricate Fiesta metal into one of the memorable creations. Take a look. Well, there are so many just incredible artists in our city and this gentleman is one of them. Dusty Pierce and Dusty Saw Design. He's been on the show a couple of times before. Thank brought you. Brought his beautiful, beautiful works of art cut out of wood and now we're in his shop and uh, the Fiesta metal that you're making for us it's unbelievable. Thank you, thank you. There's a lot of detail in that metal. So uh, the, to, get, to get it going right, you start with a design, you know, and then it takes time. How, how do you start? So you, get, you take the, the image and then you basically, the way, the way I do it is you trace every single part. On every a computer? On a computer, yes. Uh, and then once you have that, then you decide how you're gonna layer that. Uh, and with this particular piece, <clears throat> it was a little more difficult because I wanted it to have the look and feel of a metal, which have different elevations. So creating the different layer pieces uh, for this piece uh, was important to have. And then these intricate pieces, and I mean, talking about intricate pieces, like these portions of little flowers right here, <clears throat> Uh, you don't cut those off by hand, do you? No, no. We use <clears throat> CO2 laser equipment to cut the design, so that that's the the, the big help from us. It's our only, only employee we have. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> other than that, is 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 all done by hand. Uh, the coloring. And you said a lot of times uh, some of your your works may be all the layers are individual pieces that you build up, but in this. The different layers are individual. How many did we count here? Uh, about 156 pieces all together. Wow. Yeah. So for instance, you would put this on here. Right. And you don't glue them down as components. You then glue each piece and do one layer and then build up from there. Yeah. So this, this piece here, as you can see, uh, I mean, just the beak itself is two pieces. 
if you look here, you take that off, there's a layer underneath it. It's like taking a puzzle, right? You have a puzzle in a box. <clears throat> well, we made the puzzle first, mm -hmm. and then we take all the pieces and we kind of put it together. And to be honest with you, when you start to put something like this together, uh, even coloring it, my wife colored all the pieces, and to make sure that you know that particular layer there is stained, um, not, not natural wood because it's a different color. Because we want to give that element of the yellow that's in the metal uh, in, a, in a more artistic form and, and wood stain rather than just painting it yellow. And the intricacy uh, can can vary, even pictures of the family. So you've taken the, the family pet yes. and done this, which is absolutely just adorable. Thank you, which we love. To get the detail um, and the shadowing, it, it's like taking wood and that's your canvas. Mm -hmm. So then we take it and we stain it different shades, color it all by hand with paint uh, so that we get the, the, as close as we possibly can to your pet's image or your family's photo, whatever it might be. There are just your regular production pieces, if you will, maps yes. of the United States, yes. uh, of the state of Texas, and then the, those custom pieces like that. So if somebody wants a custom piece, about how far, up, say, at graduation time coming up? So right now, we are uh, four to five weeks out on any photo project. Uh, we do have templates where we do a lot of family, like custom clocks. Mm -hmm. I can do those in two weeks. The shop and the showroom are over here in the alley on Bitters, which is west of 281. And you'll be amazed when you look around at some of these things. And this literally, we walked in and <coughs> mind boggling <laughs> the interest the right. detail, the beauty of this. <clears throat> if you would like more information on Dusty Saw, Saw Design, and let me tell you, you want more information about this, <laughs> to check it out, head over to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code right there on your screen. We cannot thank you enough. Thank you, I really appreciate you guys. And here mm -hmm. is the finished product. And again, when Ted and I walked in that studio and we were literally flabbergasted by this, the detail, the intricacy, and even the feathers, there's different layers. So there's about three or four different layers of this wood. Some have about four or five. Uh, some are not as, as high. See, it's a, not only is it three-dimensional, but then there's dimension it, yes. within it as well. And it's the combination nice of stain and some paints on there and everything. And yeah, it is just, he said, when he's thinking about how to do it, he, he you know, middle of the night wakes up and says, like, how do I do it, how do I do it? You know, and it's right. losing sleep over things like that. So this is definitely mm -hmm. a part Should of definitely our set. definitely go up. Right in a place of honor. That, I, yeah, it just it gives me is chills it level? that it's, it's so, so <laughs> beautiful on there. So Dusty, <laughs> thank you very much, and again, he, he can do custom work. Uh, people get uh, like a lot of uh, police officers, things right. like that. They retire and they do the badges, things. Right. So, so yeah, give them a, check them out at the studio as well. So Perfect. Well, you can feel the Fiesta vibes growing in the city, and you can already start the party at one local restaurant. Its brunch menu is everything you need to fuel a fun-filled weekend of Fiesta fun. And Cindy Gid, owner of El Catrina, a Mexican restaurant and bar, is here to give us a taste of the most important meal of the day is... Brunch. Chilaquiles brunch. divorciados. Okay, and that's what we're making, right? Yes, we're making authentic chilaquiles divorciados. We have green sauce and red sauce. Okay. Let's add a little bit more. Okay. okay. And what do we do? Okay. If you want to add, add the chips to the, to the salsa. Okay. So just how much? Like this? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And then just kind of like stir it. Stir okay. Make sure they're drenched. We can use there we go. Help with a spoon. Thank you. So just toss them around in here. Exactly. And you and your husband are both from Mexico. And all of these, I mean, this is not just, uh, you know, any sort of Mexican restaurants. Uh, cuisine that you can get. These are the authentic dishes, right? Authentic Mexican dishes, yes. We work from Mexico. We have a passion for authentic Mexican food. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, we also have, you know, pancakes and the waffles. Just bring a little bit of variety for everyone in the family. Okay. And you guys are foodies, right? Yes, we love all types of food. All types of food. Yes. Besides Mexican food, what's your next favorite? Oh my god. I, I, I have to say Asian food. I love Asian food. I love Italian, Chinese, Japanese. And you okay. said you just saw the Filipino restaurant on the show the other yes, day. Yes, yes. And then yes. you go I, get the lumpia, right? I have to go. <laughs> all right. It looks delicious. It, what's our next step? Okay, now we're going to add the chips to the plate with the salsa. Okay, okay so we'll just pour these on here. Yes. We'll put the green on the other side. Okay. I'm going to turn this off. And then you can choose from different toppings. We have um, beef fajita, carnitas, 
chicken, and then we have egg if you want the egg. Mm -hmm. And then of course we have cilantro, queso fresco, and red onion. Okay. Oh my goodness. And, we'll and these are just the, the right the original, okay. authentic chilaquiles, divorciados. And Woo! you also have your uh, pancakes and waffles, which, wow, those I are I mean, those are right here, well, yes. okay? What is this right here? So this is uh, pancakes El Catrin. Mm -hmm. It has a variety of fruit, as you can see, and of course the syrup. Over here we have the banana split waffle, which is a favorite among the kids when they have a birthday celebration. It's just delicious. Okay. Oh, yeah. And for a birthday celebration, absolutely. It's perfect. Yes. Okay. And what else do we have so on we the have, table here? So we have a cocktail de camarón. Mm -hmm. Here we have aguachiles habanero. So that is on? It's a shrimp. It's on a shrimp top on top of, of a cucumber slice. Okay. It's just fresh, refreshing. Okay. And then over here we have a trio enchilada, which is a salsa a chipotle, mole, mm -hmm. and poblano. Ooh. Top with queso fresco. Mm. And of course, you can't forget the drinks. We mm. have mimosa, hibiscus, mezcal margarita, and mango mezcal margarita. Very refreshing for fiesta. She taught us well. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. This is so mm. delicious. Do you like it? Did we do yes. well? Okay. We had training wheels, but <laughs> you know, it's kind of like paint by numbers. <laughs> exactly. Uh, now, as far as the, you know, the waffles and, and the pancakes, is there breakfast all day? Yes, so at El Catrin, we serve breakfast all day. So if you want pancakes at night, mm -hmm. you can have them. Love it. Midday, okay. they're available. Two locations, mm -hmm. brand new one, and the, the original location is? Yes, the original location is in Alamo Heights, mm -hmm. and then we just opened a second location by Stone Oak area. So we have two options. Please stop by and check us out. So what is your favorite Fiesta food? Oh my goodness, that's a hard one. I have to say turkey legs are my favorite. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, to eating them. All right. Did you just grab one and just, I mean. Just grab it and the walk Dinner. with my turkey legs on Fiesta <laughs> Street. <laughs> and don't it. forget Mother's Day brunch, right? Yeah, so we'll be having a great Mother's Day brunch at our two locations. Please stop by and try our chilaquiles, pancakes. We just have a little bit of everything for the whole family. Chilaquiles are delicious. All right, thank you very much. Thank uh, you. For more information on El Catrine Restaurant and Bar, just snap the QR code on your screen and go to salive.com. Click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, comedy for a cause. This weekend, you can laugh out loud with some local celebrities taking a shot at stand-up comedy. And our friend Clifford Rodriguez is here to talk about the show. Welcome, welcome. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's going to be a big uh, event, a big uh, fundraiser for Eagles Flight Advocacy. They're doing uh, uh, their summer program, and it's to help uh, special need kids uh, come on out, learn how to swim, uh, ride on horses, and zip line, and all this. Oh, My wow. kids worked it one summer. I had so many great stories to tell me when they got home and they loved it. Just seeing the smile on the kids' faces is a, does a, uh, so much good for them. A great cause to come mm -hmm. out for, all right? And so who's going to be taking the stage? Well, we got a few <laughs> folks from other channels uh -huh. and local celebrities just coming out and trying their hand at stand-up. They're totally out of their element. And let me tell you something. Stand-up is hard if you've yeah, never done I it. I can imagine. It, it can be, it could be the longest five minutes of your life or the shortest <laughs> five minutes of your life but it, depending on how much you put into it and I mean uh, everybody's giving of their time and, and coming out and being able to do it and and then, and again it's uh, I'm gonna have to get you guys you know for next year or so, so you know, that'd if be cool. somebody is kind of kind of not really doing well uh -huh. uh, do you have a laugh track you know just to kind of you know I I don't have a laugh track I'll <laughs> laugh loud yeah, yeah, yeah I start laughing loud. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's I mean, I, I just did the best impression of my wife when I'm up on stage. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just that is okay. Tickets are available, right? Tickets are available. You want to make sure to go to EaglesFlight.org uh, uh, and uh, get your tickets Saturday at uh, seven o'clock at Summit Church, so they have to be clean. So that's another <laughs> element we threw in it's there in too. Church. So yeah. it's in church. So and of course it's you fun. have a show you're doing as well, right? Yeah, I'm doing a show mm -hmm. now. Uh, they are starting on Facebook now. It's streaming on different. It's called Where's Cleto with Vanessa Martin, my good friend. And uh, again, it's like it's kind of like this show, but not with all the great guests or great cooking segments. Uh, matter of fact, it's just big in prisons. It's pretty big. <laughs> we're, 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 we stream pretty big and all. A lot of ways. So. If you want to buy tickets for that, <laughs> make sure you uh, check out our website, and there we have provided a link. Plato, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you guys. So Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, still ahead.
Want to make it through the best fiesta ever? Hey, you got to have some killer hairdos. We're showing you some fun styles. But first, Viva Fiesta and Viva America, we learn about this year's Texas Cavaliers River Parade and its patriotic theme. That's coming up next. Welcome back to SNL, and of course, the city of San Antonio is getting ready for the biggest party of the year. Only 11 days away from the Texas Cavaliers River Parade on the San Antonio River. Yes, the River Parade Grand Marshal himself, Jonathan Deere, along with Trey Steve, joins us today. Welcome, welcome, gentlemen. Right, thanks for having us. Parade Thank Marshal, parade. actually, and Vice Marshal. Yes. All right, tell us all about this year's parade. Sure. So uh, we're very excited. The parade is uh, right around the corner, April 22nd on Monday at 7 p.m. Uh, we're expecting somewhere around 200,000 people to line the, line the river and watch our parade. Uh, this is the 79th version of the parade. Um, and uh, we, my charitable honoree this year for the parade is the uh, Alamo Education Center. Uh, and we're, we're giving uh, money to that cause. It will actually be the Texas Cavaliers Education Center. We're very proud of that. Uh, so it's gonna be a great time and we're just super excited. Okay, and tell us about the history of the parade. Well, the parade was really inspired by the uh, Xochimilco uh, a river area in Mexico City where they have beautiful, uh, uh, colorful boats going through Mexico City and one of our, our founding members saw that and was inspired by it and brought the parade here in 1941. And the theme this year is? Viva America. And even more floats than last year too, right? right? More floats and they're going to represent all the beautiful landmarks that we have in our country uh, and it's going to be bigger, better, more lights, more people. Okay. And we raised a ton of money for the children of South Texas, so we're super excited. All right, see how well you know your landmarks. Oh, yes. We have a little game to play here. And you can play at home, too. We're going to pop up a video, and as it reveals, you have to guess which great American landmark it is. All right. Shout out your answers if you know. Okay. All right. <laughs> I say live. Oh, wait. Stop. Um, I can't even see that. Oh, that's the yellow. Oh. Is that's oh, the, that's the yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nicely yeah. done. We should have gotten that one quick. <laughs> I know, right? Um, it's so hard to see. Mount Rushmore. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yep. 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 Good job. These are tough. I need okay. my readers. I know. <laughs> Binoculars too. Ooh. Uh, Liberty Bell. Oh, that's a river walk, right? That's the chains on the river walk. Is it the Sun Bridge? Uh, Golden Gate Golden Bridge. Gate. Golden Gate. You got it. Okay. Is that what you're there you go. Couple more here. Okay, here we go. New York City. Statue of Liberty, maybe. maybe. Let's see. I don't know. Um, oh, the St. Louis Arch. The St. Louis Arch, yeah. Oh, right. okay. Gateway Arch. Gateway Arch. I know they were going to be great. This is, oh, good. Good. This is oh, working out well. It's pretty tough. Grand Canyon? Looking down at the salt. No. Yes, Grand Canyon. Oh, oh no, no, it's the same thing. No, we were close. <laughs> All right, okay. don't forget, the River Parade is coming up on April 22nd. That's right. On that Monday night. Tickets are still available, right? Absolutely. We do have a few tickets available. I have some medals for you guys. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. All right, there's the information on the screen. Just call 21022-RIVER or visit texascavaliers.org. Jonathan, Trace, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Viva Fiesta. All right, never underestimate the power of a good hair day. We show you some styles that will leave you feeling like Fiesta royalty and how you can recreate these fun looks. And next, have you been dealing with chronic pain? There's a treatment that's centuries old that could help where you can get it and how it works when SA Live continues. Well, they're known for their total approach to senior care. And now, Gonzaga Medical Group is offering new specialty services to patients. And here with everything you need to know is Dr. Aaron Garza, Specialty Medical Director with Gonzaga Medical Group. Welcome, welcome, doctor. Thank you for having us. All right, so primary care and in-house specialists all under one roof. I mean, that is the Gonzaga difference, okay? But what are some of the specialty services that you offer? Well, we offer neurology, podiatry, endocrinology, rheumatology, just to name a few of them. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're really excited for the new one that we just uh, acquired, acupuncture. So. Dr. Amara Hung is our new um, doctor of oriental medicine and acupuncture, and we're very enthusiastic about having her. Oh, that's
that's so great. So for those that don't know, what is acupuncture? Acupuncture is another way to treat our, our patients. It's a, a non-conventional treatment uh, for the occidental because it's oriental. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you can see, I mean, there are different needles in different areas uh, which are not painful, by the way. And the whole idea is to relieve some of the most, uh, most common conditions that we see throughout uh, our life. And just to name a few of them, um, you have chronic pain uh, from arthritis, you have neuropathy, you have insomnia, anxiety, depression, and those are just uh, a few of them. So uh, you just kind of answered my next question because people see the needles and they think, okay, does it hurt? And you say no. No. Uh, you, know, you don't really feel that. No, and actually we, we have her at least two months mm -hmm. at Gonzaga and most of the patients are, are really happy. They say it doesn't okay. hurt. They're feeling relief of their pain and some of their conditions too. And you've mentioned some of the ailments and, and conditions, but who else might be a good candidate for acupuncture? I would say, I mean, uh, nowadays we have a lot of patients mm -hmm. that you know don't want to take too many medicines. Right. They don't want to take too many shots. So all of those that might have had a chronic condition and they're looking for a, a, a different approach, that would be one of the good ones too. And so, how try. often should folks get acupuncture? I know it might kind of vary, but and, and that. Once they get to Dr. Hung, she will give them uh, a, a good uh, treatment plan. You know, it can go from two to eight mm -hmm. sessions, but it depends on the severity and the type of disease they have. And approximately once a week, right? Once a week. Okay. Correct. And so, what else should we know about Gonzaga Medical Group? Well, I, I think uh, we're unique. Mm -hmm. uh, we're uh, uh, growing, uh, and we're hiring different services that I would say uh, not, not, no clinic here in town is doing. Okay. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, doctor. For more information on Gonzaga Medical Group, all you have to do is give them a call at 210-960-8956. That's 210-960-8956, or visit the website, gonzaba.com. Dr. Garza, once again, thank you so much. All right, the most important part of Piesta is the hair. Look at how gorgeous Mamie is with this flower crown, and these are real flowers. Very simple technique on how to put them in your hair. We've got that and some more great tips for beautiful Piesta hair coming up. And right now, you can scan the QR code and enter to win the I Love Battle Flower Spray Contest. Get a chance to ride on a float, just need to be a Key State Insider and 15 words or less say why you love the Battle of Flowers Parade. Good luck, there's more SA Live on the way. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, with hair this good, who needs a flower crown? No matter what color or type of hair you have, this local salon can make sure you have a new fun look for the city's biggest party. But wait till you see the flower crown that we show you. <laughs> Olivia Flores Garcia, owner of Bloom Salon and Studios here with some great Fiesta hairstyles. Welcome. Thank you so much. We're so excited to be here and show you what we have. So for what's Fiesta. the one rule for Fiesta hair? I would say the bigger the better. Fiesta is all about just the flashy and the cascarones mm -hmm. and all the color. So what we have here with Miss Sianna. We did some hair tinsel in her hair. We can go kind of minimal. This is as minimal as we will are willing to go for Fiesta. And then we added some hair gems. I like to say that it's like the cascaronas came alive in her hair. Love it. Yes. And the tip you had mm -hmm. was simply eye, eyelash glue, right? Yes, so eyelash glue on the tips of it. When you add that, it'll get you all through sweaty Nyosa night. So they're there to stay. <laughs> And it's not going to be that much to kind of take it out. Oh, no, yeah. absolutely not. So, I mean, they're meant for your eyelashes, mm -hmm. so it's, you yep. know, simple water and, yeah. All right, tell us about Bloom Salon and Studio. Tell us all about it. I'm sorry. Oh, Bloom Salon Studio is in Almost Park. <laughs> um, we've been open for five years now. We host braid bars around the city, and we're totally hair focused. So everything from textured hair to color and cuts and beautiful styling. And Here. flowers and color, of course, are big yes. uh, in Fiesta. How can folks add that to their hair style and kind of change it up a bit? So we wanted to add a fresh look by adding fresh flowers. Um, I love incorporating the fresh flower look. We all love a paper flower crown, but I think that this really helps to kind of just give it a little different edge and it helps support your local flower shop also. How did you do that? Because I'm thinking that you attach flowers to a band or something like that, but it's just in her hair, right? Right, no, it, it is, and you don't need to have super long hair. It really 
really dense hair. What we did is we secured this with two um, three strand braids, really simple to do. We crossed them over and that creates a support system for the flowers so that you can weave them in and they stay like this. And you don't need real long hair because yeah. you said yeah. that, that Mamie has just about shoulder length hair. Yep, just work. about shoulder length hair um, if we like tie it up and however you want to do that. But yeah, it's a good little anchor is so a three strand braid. Okay. And so what is braid bar? <laughs> so braid bar is something that we do around the city. We work with local um, organizations. We help support local nonprofits and we'll go out, we'll set up and then we just go and braid the hair and style it up and get it nice and fun for all of the events. Okay, here's my favorites and beautiful Jackie is here and we were talking about her Fiesta medals. Yes. I love how you did this. Awesome. So I'm super proud of this one. This is like <laughs> extra extravaganza Fiesta. So instead of wearing the medals over the sash, as we usually see, we incorporated them in the hair and then did the same with just adding an extra little glitz and glam with the hair beads. And that's just kind of, that's just a braid, right? Yes, also same. So three strand braid and then just wove those um, right in the hair. Nothing's but you just pinned the, yep, we just the pinned them in. into the hair in yep. the braid like that. How heavy is that? It's pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> You're super proud it of keeps, it. Yes. It keeps her posture very nice. Keeps her yes. head down. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, so where can folks find you? Uh, we are in um, Almost Park, 224 East Almost. You can find us on Instagram at bloomsalonstudio.sa. Um, but all over social media is... Is there mm -hmm. a one or two little tips mm -hmm. for somebody at home? If they're not going to you, what can they really do? You know, easy and that's going to last all night long because Fiesta can be very hot. Yeah, tonight, so. I would say again with the eyelash glue, if we want to incorporate the um, the hair tinsel, the hair gems, and really just have fun with it. It's a personal style, so you get to really kind of Fiesta it out. And go for those updos to keep the hair Up, off the back. Yeah, off the back of the back. Nice of the back. Nice yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, for more information on a Bloom Salon and Sudia, of course, snap the QR code on your screen or go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All three beautiful hair designs. Thank you so Thank very you. much. Love. Next on SA Live, want to be all smiles for Fiesta, where you can upgrade your teeth and never have to hide your smile again. It's straight ahead on SA Live. And don't forget to scan the QR code and weigh in on the question of the day. Show us your pet picks for National Pet Day. Peaches is ready for Fiesta, of course. Thank you very much, Gina. Oh, look at this. My pet Barney from Martha. And one more, Lola and Sadie enjoying the sun Aww. and yelling about it too. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live in historic Market Square. We'll snap those beautiful Fiesta photos with a brand new smile. We're talking about dental implants today with the experts from Celebrate Dental and something you may not know that could help you. All right, Dr. Karen Shaw joins us right now. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so Tell much us for about me. dental implants and what folks should know. Yeah. Um, Fixed teeth using dental implants are the best solution for patients struggling with multiple missing or broken teeth or even loose dentures. Um, we're constantly trying ways to um, we're constantly trying to find ways to make this more affordable and more accessible. Uh, the biggest barriers to patients receiving this treatment, Fiona, is uh, finances and dental anxiety. And now we have solutions for both of those. So okay. I'm here to talk about that. Okay, so let's talk about a, a bit of the, like insurance and financing. Sure. Um, you can use medical insurance, right, yes. for them? Finally, uh, we now have the ability to have your medical insurance pay for most of the treatment uh, cost um, mm -hmm. for this uh, procedure. Um, especially for patients that have Blue Cross Blue Shield uh, insurance. Here in San Antonio, we have a lot of federal um, you know, employees. And uh, for those patients, we can do a complimentary benefit check um, and find out if the insurance will cover most of the costs associated with the procedure. And you mentioned affordability. There's in-house financing as well, right? That is correct. We have no credit check, no interest financing available for folks um, who cannot uh, qualify for third-party financing or who don't have the ability to 
um, get insurance to pay for this. Now you have several locations around town, but where do you do this procedure? So predominantly we're offering this procedure at uh, our San Pedro and our Bandera location. Okay. Um, it's 6868 San Pedro Avenue and 6810 Bandera Road. Uh, at both of these offices we have all of the latest technology uh, in order to make this procedure predictable, safe, and uh, convenient. Now can folks get this done same day? Yes, absolutely. So we have we work with an MD anesthesiologist in order to make the procedure extremely safe by offering uh, safe general anesthesia in the office, and uh, that makes the entire process very comfortable. And um, yeah, and, we can and do those it the are same some day. of the before and afters we're looking at yes. done in a day, right? Yes, that was okay. done same day. Okay. All right. So you mentioned anesthesiologists, right? That that will definitely help, and a new smile can, of course, really change your life. Yeah. What what do patients say when they see <laughs> that after shot, right? They see yeah. their you know new smile for the first time. You know, it is my favorite part of going to work. Mm -hmm. um, this is exactly what we you know worked so hard for. Um, patients are really excited. They would tell me things that. They haven't smiled this big before. They are very excited to eat their favorite foods. Obviously, this is the time of the year where everyone's you know going out to yes. consume a lot of fiesta food. Um, and then their families tear up, watching those smiles and those tears. And there's endless hugs being shared in the office on that day. Um, the outlook that these patients have towards life is completely renewed, and it's such a fun thing to watch. Well, and it's just, it's got to bring that confidence up as well, of yeah. course, you know, that's a given. Thank you so much. Call now to schedule your appointment with Celebrate Dental and Braces. That number is 210-819-4553. That's 210-819-4553. Or just head to CelebrateDental.com. Thank you again, Dr. Shah. Thank you so much. Next. If you want your home to last a lifetime, it needs a strong foundation, how you can spot small problems before they become big, and how one company can help with a long-lasting solution. And you can still enter to win the best seat in the house for Fiesta. Two lucky KSAT insiders will win IKEA's best seat in the house to watch either the Battle of Flowers Parade or Fiesta Flambeau Parade. That includes private seating for your party of six people at the parade. Just scan the QR code to enter and keep it here on SA Live. some of the signs of foundation failure well you might need some help from the pros and our next guest has a solution you might not have seen before doug williams senior project manager with ramjack texas is here welcome sir okay first of all the signs of foundation failure well the signs of foundation failure are, are door sticking uh, front door back door the door in the garage cracks in the sheetrock cracks in your brick on the outside those are all signs that your foundation is moving and, and signs that you need to get something done. Okay, why is it so common around here? Well, Texas, and, and specifically San Antonio, is on an expansive clay soil. Mm -hmm. That means that when it's wet, it expands. When it's dry, it shrinks. So it's like being on a big sponge. Okay. Our houses are slab on grade concrete, so they just pour it on top of the ground. And as that ground moves, shrinks, expands, contracts, then your house is going to move too. But we always hear about all the limestone here in, in Well, that's in the hill country. Okay. Okay. But not in San Antonio because there's limestone, limestone there. is deeper. But you got the you got the sponge, the clay on top. That's of it. right. So what is this? Well this is a steel pier. This is what Ramjack uses. We actually invented this and patented it. Mm -hmm. So what we do is dig a hole under your foundation about two by two. We either screw a helical, which a helical is a fancy word for a big screw. Like this is we screw okay. this in if it's a deep soil, or we use a driven steel pier, which would be like this shaft, and we go down to unweathered bedrock. So this goes through the sponge, the clay stuff that, that's moving, and you're sitting on something really solid. That's exactly right. So this the spongy part, as you say, is the active zone, what they call the active zone. It's about 15 to 18 feet deep. Okay, and then this is what your house actually sits on. This, this is what right the house here. sits on. It's a big, heavy steel bracket. So this looks like it's not going any anywhere because it's big, thick, heavy steel. So then you have that concrete block over there. What's well, this that? is what a lot of contractors use. Mm -hmm. It's a concrete pier. You can get them at Home Depot or McCoy's, any place like that. They run about 395. So they put 
three or four of these, how far do you think you can put that in the ground? Well, three or four would be about four, three or four feet. Four or five feet, yeah. Okay. So if that active zone is 15 to 18 feet and you put that in there, what's going to happen to that? Okay. It's That's gonna, just it's gonna, gonna move. Do the same thing. So all this right. one is going so, all the way down. So the this has a hundred percent failure rate. The first sign, if you see even a little bit of a crack, or maybe that little bit of a sticking door, don't wait. I mean, it's only going to get worse, right? That's that's exactly right. The oh. doors are the big thing. You can see little cracks, and that's differential movement. It's a sign you need to start watering your foundation too. Okay, but once you get past the point of watering, this thing. This so, well, they are the foundation repair experts. If you need help with your foundation, give Ramjack Texas a call at 210-653-3200. And for more information, of course, visit the website ramjack.com. Thank you, Doug, very much. Hey, tomorrow on SA Live, well, it's almost time for PS. As we've been saying, and this local biochemist has the perfect tips to help you level up your skincare routine. Plus, we're back on the South by Southwest red carpet. We chat with the stars of a new surreal comedy film about Bigfoot. That's now playing in theaters. It's all tomorrow at 1 right here on SA Live. We love our pets. That's right. So it's National Pet Day. Share your pet picture. Scan that QR code. Here we go. This is oh, from Deborah, oh and that is Chico. Just took him in two days ago. He still oh. has the new car smell. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is Avery on her horse, Tennessee. What a beautiful picture. Uh, this is from Ed Marie. Uh, this Eros? is Eros, my, uh, my derby. derby cat, and Lulu the princess. Felix the pug, enjoying the sunshine. Of course he is. Thank you, Ashley. And this is from Christine. This is Garfield Will Be Socks. Oh, Maverick, four-year-old black lab. Oh, what a good-looking dog. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, this is from Letty. This is Ellie in the Christmas tree, climbing on up. Okay, that's a great picture. I mm -hmm. love that, that shot there. Aww. And Akamaru sporting his Bucky shirt. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Melinda. It's like a multi I wonder if he likes beaver noodles. I bet he would. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'd eat those up. So, all right. Fiesta is one week from today. We will I be at Fiesta Fiesta yeah. out there at the uh, mm -hmm. Alamo Dome. And also, we'll see you tomorrow.